can't wait. I can't wait. For the future. For the future. Going to the moon. Going to the moon. Chicken banana sponsorships. Going to the moon. Oh, two, three, four. How's it going? 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 Chicken bananas, episode two. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. That I wasn't like, supposed to happen. I thought that you were trying to do that. And I was like, dude, have you ever seen those YouTube videos of a dryer or a, like a washing machine? And they throw like a bowling ball on it and turn it on. And it's like, <laughs> that, yeah. that's how your guitar sounded. I was like, that's oh, funny. man, he totally hit that uh, that tone. He found the tone right there. Mm-hmm. That's, that's number one concern. Okay. <laughs> hold, hold, on. On. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Were we like way out of the hold Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The time. The time. The time. The time. You're dead. Yeah. We'll fix it in post. Latency. We'll have to take a look at it. I'm looking for tone, and I'm not sure what direction to go in yet. There might be some latency. There might be some latency. There might be some latency. But I have to kill it. It's definitely that's what we're looking for. It's definitely that's what we're looking for. Chicken Bananas Episode 2. Y'all be sure to subscribe and PayPal Venmo. Lots of money. Send Chicken Bananas as much money as you as you can possibly steal from your grandma and your mother and your father. I mean, if we could do fifteen dollars a month, but if you want to take it further, we're not going to stop you. Yeah, I mean, just think of it as a, like a ten dollars a minute kind of thing. Is when you watch Chicken Bananas, it's there you go. special content. It's fair. It's a fair price. So we need to buy new computers so that way we can yeah. make better content. You know, I know. Do some VR. Mm-hmm. We'll do VR in the mixing room, so it's like. Everything's just virtual moving forward. All you need is a terminal to log in, and then you mix your everything virtually, and but on the VR headset. So you're actually in the studio pushing faders and stuff. You're sitting in a seat, and you're just like, Ugh. well, then you would just be hunkered over just like every other engineer. Like, <laughs> right, yeah. And you don't move for 18 hours, and you uh-huh. piss your you pants because you don't want to leave. at the kitchen table. Right. I'm in the sweet spot. I can't move. Piss your pants. <laughs> in the sweet spot. Right. No. It's uh you look over I don't believe it. And it's not possible. Stop. You know, record your favorite uh artist. So it's like you look over here we go from the website, straight from Steven Slate Audio. But Lil Wayne's Beyonce, back there drinking purple, like Billy Joel. Seizures. Lil Wayne, yeah. Doing the little way, get the whole experience. Like this, welcome to the music industry. Call nine one one, sir. Little Lil Wayne is uh, having a seizure in my studio. Thank you, Stephen Slate. This was such a surreal experience. I hope he doesn't die. It's the real thing. Got a nine one one system. Mm-hmm. It's like Sims. Well, like and Sims every every call. time, every minute that you use the. Uh, the headphones it deducts another hundred dollars from your bank account so it's like oh thanks steven slate i'm bankrupt just like every other studio in nashville right. awesome yeah. tuition yep gotta pay to play y'all software is a service it's not free Mm-mm. so that's what it costs i am yeah. looking forward to yeah. Yeah. the yeah. space yeah. 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 going to space you about space? Yeah, I you, think you, good. You, you, you. I can't wait. I'd like to go. See if I can stay <laughs> forever and <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, just breathe that recycled air. It's gonna yeah. be nice. Yeah. Start evolving. Farts. Yep, I'm hoping to evolve. <laughs> Looks like these. 
it. So with iSpace, I want to make sure that our uh, depot dump uh, has some chicken banana swag in it. So we need to get like a t-shirt and some keychains. That'd be great. Uh, maybe maybe some koozies. Just it's culturally anything, significant. Anything that's going to be helpful for our astronauts and on the on the moon to mm -hmm. you know, feel a little bit more like home. Get him a bottle opener, chicken banana bottle opener. Sure, that'd be a great you, idea. And then you have to like pour your beer in a hose and then have it like stop and then open right. on the other end so you don't get your brain sucked out through a tube. <laughs> Trying to drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, that one would have to cost a lot of money though. Okay. Well, it is what it is. So I went on the ice space ink.com website to mm. see how much it was going to cost for us to have a depot dump you know they don't they ain't listing prices yet brandon i don't know yeah i i feel like it's a lot of hype machine marketing like when you got a new video game especially like an ambitious one and they're like coming soon mm -hmm. it's like it's you know everybody like trying to hustle out to these stores to buy to pick these consoles up it's not going to make that much of a difference right now. It's like when the iPhone sells out, when they, when they have a big launch and people, for whatever reason, it's hitting a lot of people's update cycles or they've made a feature set that's worth it and it sells out, right? And it's like, oh, it's not coming back for months. It's like, just chill, just chill and it'll come back and sell. Happy holidays, Rick. And to you, my friend. Hey! Guys, what can I interest you in? We'd like to get Xbox Ones, please. Good choice. I've already noticed that people are selling these new Xboxes for like a thousand dollars. That's They're amazing. Like, it's not. It's not going to come until January, so just buy it now for a thousand dollars. And people are like, "It's three hundred dollars." Like, no. how? What are you doing, dude? It the that stuff is so toxic. Don't buy those at that price. That's crazy. <laughs> So then so somebody dumb. else, someone dropped it theirs to 500 to see if they could sell it, but it still hasn't sold. Really? I'm surprised about that, though. I can see people paying 500 for it because yeah. it's, it's like a premium to get it sooner. It's not That's true, but I'm, more I, than double the price. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's any games available for it until <laughs> January anyway, right? Right. Yeah, with the, uh, the iSpace deal, some of the the videos that they had they're like so once we get to the moon and then once we harvest all of the water out of the moon and then make yes. our fuel sources then yep. we're going to be able to cash in like crazy and then the moon's going to be a secondary uh, economy source that we're going to mm -hmm. have going on and i'm like golly you guys are jumping ahead man it's just mm -hmm. uh, well so i don't know how much of this we can keep but I've heard, I've, my understanding is there is a reason for why things get released like that. Um, they have to attract enterprise money unless they're going to develop a program for passengers, mm. which commercial passengers like that, like, isn't, I don't think people are ready for that. Like, industrially speaking, we're not ready for that. Mm -mm. So if we can get people on board, like chicken bananas and their keychains and bottle openers, then that can fund the science stuff. And then if we can have a breakthrough industrially, then it starts making its own money.
E, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, that so they want to make it look like there's a business plan that they're proposing to you or whatever. And so if you had the choice to put a franchise on the moon, oh yeah, would it be McDonald's? Okay, Dollar General. Home Depot, Walmart, P uh, Piggly Wiggly. My heart tells me Piggly Wiggly, but my brain tells me that believe it or not, McDonald's or Walmart. Uh, yeah. Wal Walmart got fried chicken. Right. Well, and that was that's the thing about Walmart is like, all right, all right so you with Walmart, right? We we're, we're doing at least like a full size, like a regular super center. So we'll have some food, hot fresh food today, as well as groceries and that kind of stuff, produce. Mm -hmm. Then all the clothes, the little knickknack house stuff, get some basketballs. They still selling guns. Uh space guns, yeah. For the space force. Space guns, clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, got an outdoor section for a pool and all that kind of stuff. Yep. So, go go uh, just hang out in the crater and just kind of float in the as atmosphere on a little uh, pool noodle or something, you know? Yeah. Well, it's one, one, you know, you only live once, right? So. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, prices would be inflated, but only, you know, of that for the moon. So. Correct. Yeah, just for the moon. Right. So, you, so are we going to have yeah, a lot. moon currency? Yeah, a lot. Do you think? We're gonna have moon currency or are we gonna stick to the US dollar or are we gonna just do the NWO uh, New World Order uh, One Earth currency? So I think that I, I don't know enough about currency. I think that it would require there to be an entity on the moon to prop up that currency. So they go in, there's like an ATM box and they drop a hundred dollar bill and then they get like a, a moon coin. And then like they, they put in a hundred thousand yen and get a moon coin and then put in sure. 10 billion pesos and get a moon coin, just whatever is like the standard equivalent, you know? Yeah. But there has to be something backing the moon coin, which I guess could be the fact that it's a new frontier or whatever. And then, but I just, this is optimistically speaking, of course, because what would end up happening is the other one you said about the new world order. They would definitely slip in there. Perfect opportunity to launch this currency we've had planned for at least 1200 years. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to implement it. We're one step closer to new world order right and then once those moon currencies get back to earth people are going to want that more than the, the u.s dollar or the yen or whatever so sure so yeah besides it being a collector's item it's going to be the new world order's uh you know little token of appreciation thanks for signing up y'all it's going to wreak havoc on our economy uh so you got to buy in mm-hmm We'll have a subscription link down below in the description for the chicken bananas uh, NWO. We're going to start our own. We want to get and, ahead uh, of this thing. Yeah, yeah. We need to get ahead of this. Thing. <laughs> Even though these, you know, the reptilians have had millennia uh, ahead of just of planning chicken bananas. I think we can, we can get ahead of it. I think how we could, we could take the approach of being a disruptor. We, we slip through the cracks. Like they don't care about us. They're not paying attention. It's like they're, they're, they're a small fry mm -hmm. they're doing any business that we care about. Right. So the reptilians are minding, doing their own little thing over here, but we start small and we grow it and we find a way to disrupt their business and start taking their business away from them. Mm -hmm. So if we can get you guys to invest now, we're going to pull in our money franchise opportunities on the moon um creating this new currency um and we also want to fund a supply mission with the bottle openers um, eventually we'd like to engineer those um whatever device we're going to need to drink a beer while you're on the moon because think there's a huge market for that anyway if you think about it 
these guys get up on the moon, right? And everybody's hanging out. I'm sure they could go into the, to the hab and, and go to the bar there, but once in a lifetime opportunity, right? When you're on the beach, what do you do? You drink the beer on the beach. So right. these guys, they're going to going to be drinking the beer on the moon. They're going to have to have a way to do that. So that's something else we could invest in. So the three bananas. investment opportunities here. Yep. So get on with the chicken bananas, portable space, uh, beer bong experience. I've got the engineers the, working, uh, 24 hours a day so that they'll they will have it uh, done probably by next week i think well listen i played this game called surviving mars and there's only one way to run your industry your economy and your industries and stuff and that is 24 hours a day yeah absolutely yes. no breaks no three vacations. shifts poop your pants continue on <laughs> if you don't people die you're isolated you know. Of course, that wouldn't be the case on the moon quite as bad as Mars, but yeah, it's almost like you're going against your country if you don't poop your pants. You just have to, you know, the more time that you spend pooping outside of your pants is less time uh, that we can colonize the the moon. So just keep working. Here's a good way to give back. We could give back. We could create um, or fund a totally different entity, a nonprofit to create these adult diapers for work on the moon. And it'll have your nation or whatever nation you want, the flag printed on the inside. Custom so it reminds you that you're um, on your flag. Yeah. We don't, we don't want to put chicken bananas. I've thought about doing the chicken bananas right at first here before I brought this up, but we, I don't want it to be like dystopian, corporatocracy kind of thing like no 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 no, no. we do a nonprofit just to make sure they get done done correctly and that they're available for everybody to uh you know have whatever flag they they need so sure yeah, Mor- morale you know we're here for support you know i also want to airdrop in some pets so creature comforts from home that'd be know? nice so each country is going to have to fund their own spacesuit for the pets because they don't that does not come stock that's fair that's a big that's a tall order yeah Yeah. so i mean you can custom fit whatever you want but we'll be able to airdrop in a little pomeranian or something for you a slice of earth just a little bit of taste of home yep when you're tired of eating all the freeze-dried meals you know just look at that pomeranian and be like man do i want to pet it or do i want to eat it it's warm blooded. Times are tough up here in the moon. It's cold up here in the moon. Just like my heart. Yeah. Go a little crazy. And, you know, we're going to have to have space police or something because you know people are going to go crazy up there. I guess they do like an MP type of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Make sure people don't go crazy and act a fool, you know? Take that, it, especially if they get into those chicken bananas uh beer bong apparatus and then they start drinking and driving the the lander and stuff that thing's worth like a couple billion but the chicken bananas device will be worth at least like a trillion i would assume i want to make it out of diamonds so it's indestructible that's the reason why just one big diamond there you go Mm -hmm. sensible i mean it's not going to be heavy you're in space (laughs) right it just goes to the chicken bananas MWO, so it's not going to, you know, hurt anybody. It's so going happen. towards colonizing the moon, mm-hmm. um, the right way, the only way. I think we we we're coming up with a. This is really going to be a, a bulletproof plan, for, uh, just a, unleash a just this wild economy. Just it's just going to run away. It's going to be like wow, we thought that the earth had a combined G- GDP of, you know, X trillion or whatever it is. The moon is going to set records. Mm-hmm. It's unprecedented. It is. They're going to find the core is going to be worth so much that we're just going to be sending Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck down there and drill down there and extract uh, the minerals. They're the guys, they, it, 
anybody who's qualified is probably them, right? We got we got to get Billy Bob Thornton on the team. Yeah, I'm sure he'd be down. Get Buscemi. Get a, we could get the whole crew back together. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if and if you want to go to the moon, I think this is a really actually going to be a really uh, foolproof, definite way to get to the moon is by getting on board with our plan, investing early, mm-hmm. and guaranteeing your spot on the on the bus. Yeah. 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 We want all our subscribers to do- sign the waiver. But I don't. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a. Yeah. I don't care if you get uh, eaten up with mosquitoes and such. We we can't have anybody complaining, especially when you get up to the moon. So, yeah, like energy on risk, right? You can't handle mosquitoes. You're not going to be able to handle the aliens trying to. Yeah, suck your brains. um, Suck your brains, kidnap you, and abduct you. Yeah. All the time, every day, 24 hours a day. Yep. Just watching you. Yeah. And plus you gotta be a good hang, so keep being hunted. Yeah. Gotta be a good hang. Get voted off the island. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Oh, he did. <laughs> slow down, Pee Wee. Slow down. You pretty sure it got it got away from him there. Uh huh. <laughs> Just kept going. <laughs> oh, let's hope that Pee Wee survived. Hold the hand, Chico. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two cars, huh? You got two cars coming two different ways. Bag up, bag up, bag up, Terry. What in reverse, Terry? What in reverse? survived you know yeah yeah i think Terry survived that one 